my name is Rachel and thanks for joining us for this aerial yoga class. We're going to have a lot of fun and try out some different inversions, but we're also going to be focusing on flexibility, movement and relaxation. Remember you can always pause if you need a break or you can hold a position longer if you need to. You can always modify the class to suit you. So let's begin. Grip the yoga swing shoulder width apart. When you press down on it, it should be about hip height. Position yourself directly under the yoga swing and take a seat. We are going to start by swinging, so push off the floor and get a bit of momentum. Now see if you can let go of your hands and balance. Next, see if you can close your eyes and keep that balance. Come to a stop and lower your body down so the yoga swing is just beneath your knees. Release your arms and hold this position, really engaging your core. We're going to hold here for a few seconds. Lift yourself back up and hold here for a few seconds to rest. We're going to lower down again and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and lifting back up. We're gonna do that one more time. So let's go. Lower your body down again, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and lift back up again. Now we are going to move into a reverse plank. So you want the yoga swing to be under your ankles and your palms facing forward. We are going to do tricep dips. Five, four, three, two, last one, and hold here. We're going to do this two more times. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Last time, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, holding here, and release. Now let's move back up into standing position and take a seat on the yoga swing. We're going to do our very first inversion. Open your legs wide and slide your hands down the material, lowering yourself down into the inversion. Come back up and let's repeat this movement four more times. Lowering down, hold for one second, and then come back up, three more. Coming back up, legs apart coming down, back up, for this last one lower yourself down, release your hands and lay your hands flat on the floor with your palms facing upwards. Turn your palms over and go into a slight twist opening up your hips by swinging to each side. As you swing, hold there for a second. One more, each side. From here we are going to be doing crunches. Turn your hands up so they are facing the sky and we're going to crunch five times. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're going to do the same thing with back crunches. So arms behind you, palms together. Five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Now we're going to do that one more time. So crunches, here we go. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Release. Back crunches. Five, four, three, two, and one. And release. Turning your body, you want to do one full circle or more if you like. Then you are going to release your arms and let your body swing. Let's do that again on the other side this time. So twist your body in one full circle. Release your arms and let your body swing. Let's do two more, one on each side. Turning your body. And release. Remember you can turn in more than one circle if you like. Last one, turning your body. If you want to swing faster, you can tuck your body up as you release. Now we are going to come up out of the inversion the same way we got in and coming up into a standing position. Turn around so you are facing the yoga swing and position the yoga swing just beneath your hips. You may need to touch the ground to get into this position. We are going to move into flying pose, so push yourself off the ground to give yourself a swing. When you are ready, come back down into a downward dog. Hold this downward dog position and really enjoy this stretch. Take this stretch one step further by bringing your left arm to your right foot and hold. Then bring your right arm to your left foot and hold. Come back into the downward dog position. Now you are going to bring your right foot up and twist it around the yoga swing coming into three legged dog. Use the yoga swing to help you really get deep into this position. Release your right foot and we're going to do the exact same with your left side. Twist your left leg around the yoga swing holding this position. and release. We're going to do that one more time for each leg. Right foot goes up and hold here. Trying to get those legs straight and release. Left foot up and hold Really enjoy this stretch. And then releasing back down into downward dog. Now we are going to come back into standing. Grab the edge of the yoga swing and put your right foot inside it, turning around so you are facing away from the yoga swing. We're going to come into warrior three with your hands out and palms facing down. We're going to do this four more times using the yoga swing to support you in this position. Three more. Three. Two. Nice and slow and controlled and one. 
Now from here you are going to go into plank position with one foot inside the yoga swing and one foot out. Now you're going to do five small taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your left foot inside the yoga swing so that you are in a plank position and we are going to do five pikes. Five, four, three, really engaging your core, two, last one. From here, you are going to release your left foot down, coming into Pigeon Pose. And you can hold this position for as long as you need to. When you are ready, come back into standing and we're going to complete that exact sequence on the other side. So left foot into the yoga swing and we're going to come down into warrior three. Five. Four. Three. Nice and slow working on your balance. Two. And one. From here you're going to come into plank position with your left foot in the yoga swing and your right foot on the outside. And we're going to do five taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now bringing that right foot into the yoga swing and we're going to do five pikes. Five, Four, nice and slowly with these. Three, two, and last one. Now we're going to release that right foot into pigeon pose. And again, you can hold this position for as long as you need to. When you are ready, come back into standing position and we are going to be doing mountain pose. Standing in mountain pose, lean back and feel that upper back stretch. Coming back into mountain pose, we are going to do that two more times. Lean back really feel this deep stretch. Coming back up, last one, here we go. Lean back. And release. Now we are going to fold the yoga swing in half, so grab the two ends and bring them together and give the yoga swing a good shake to make sure it is folded in half. Facing away from the yoga swing, you're going to take three handfuls of material and then take a seat in the yoga swing and make sure it comes to just underneath your knees. Now lay back into the yoga swing. We're going to do the kiss test which is making sure the yoga swing can touch just over your mouth. Grabbing onto the yoga swing, lift your body up into a shoulder inversion. In this position, hold as long as you need to. Your shoulders should be supported by the yoga swing. From here, bring your feet down as low as you can, keeping your legs straight and then lifting back up. We are going to do this two more times. Coming down, 
making sure the movements are slow and controlled and back up. Really engage your core for this exercise. Last one, here we go, down and up. From this position here, you can do any type of movement you want, moving your feet around into any position that you feel like. When you are ready, lower yourself back down and come back into the standing position. We are going to unfold the yoga swing. Facing away from the yoga swing, we are going to take five handfuls of material. And then come back into the yoga swing and take a seat, putting your entire body into the yoga swing this time. Lay down in the yoga swing and move around until you feel comfortable. Enjoy this moment just to relax. When you are ready, rotate to one side and then from here you are going to bring your body into a little ball. So curl up as small as you can and extend coming into a slight back bend. Let's do this another four times. Come down into the cocoon and extend. Just working at your own pace here, you're going to do three more. rolling over to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. When you're ready, roll onto your back and lay in whichever position is most comfortable to you. If that is with your legs straight or your legs bent, that is up to you. You can choose to lay still here or you can swing. Close your eyes and take three long, slow, deep breaths in your own time, in through your nose and out through your mouth, filling your lungs with fresh air and energy as much as you can.
sink your body down into the swing and let your body be fully supported. Now sink your head into the swing and relax all of the muscles in your face, releasing tension in each muscle. Take a moment to feel this happening. Take another deep breath and as you exhale, expel all the breath that you have, releasing the last of the negative energy in your body. Feel the energy of your yoga swing holding you tight and secure. Enjoy the feeling of being hugged by the soft material. Feel your body floating above the ground. Again, relax all of the muscles in your face. Now take three long deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. start to come back to reality. Be present in your location and your surroundings. Take a moment to be happy that you took a moment for yourself today. And take this positive energy back into your daily life. Start to move your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, take a big stretch all the way up from your fingertips to your toes. When you are ready, sit up inside the yoga swing and bring your body forward into a child's pose. Hold this position for as long as you need to. Now sit up and cross your legs inside the yoga swing. Bring your palms together at your heart, just acknowledging how good you feel. I hope you have enjoyed this aerial yoga class and thanks very much for joining me.